Hi, this is Amy, and thanks for joining me for this week's three minute tech tip. And today we're going to take a look at the new Google Drive. So if you go into your Google Drive, um, you can navigate there by going to drive.google.com, then you probably are still seeing a create button and an upload button. And you may be seeing this, try the new drive. So what I'd like you to do today is go ahead and start using the new drive. If you do it now, then it's your choice. If you wait, then it will probably just be there one day and you may be surprised and not ready. So let's go ahead and go to the new Google Drive now and uh, be proactive. So I want to show you just a few things that you need to know and we will read over the the screens that pop up. So um, it lets us know that we can click to select or double click to open and that we can select uh, with arrow keys and hit enter also. Up here we see we can see thumbnails of items by switching to the grid view so remember that that view is available right here. And then we see that shared with me has become incoming. So that's where we're actually going to start our tutorial for today and really one of the most important parts of the new Google Drive. So now we see the verbiage has changed and also we can look now at things people have shared with us and we can make some choices. One choice we have is download. Another choice we have is add to my drive and remember that's going to let you add the file or folder to the organizational structure of your own drive. And then now we have these more actions over here. We can open, share, get a link, add a star, all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at another couple of things that may be new for you and one hint or tip that I think could be really helpful for you. So I'm going to navigate to recent over here on the left hand side and I'm going to find a file and let's pretend that I really want to have this file in two places. So maybe it's already inside a folder and I want to put it in a secondary folder but I don't want to make a copy because if I make a copy of it then um, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to manage both of those copies. If one updates, I'll have to update both. We don't want to do that. So um, I'm going to take this file right here, Wi-Fi for Chromecast, and I'm going to hit hold down shift on my keyboard and hit Z. What that's going to let me do, it's going to bring up a menu that says add to. Now add to is not the same as move. Move means I'm going to take the file from where it is and I'm going to move it into a folder or um, into a new location. This is going to let this file be in more than one location at a time. So that's really, really handy. And again, that tip is click and hold. You can also do this with multiple files. So I'm just holding down shift or control and then you can click files that are not contiguous. And then I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and then hit the Z key. And when I do that, I'm going to get the ability to add files to another file or folder. So I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up on YouTube, um, subscribe on YouTube, or leave me a note in the comments. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.